Good afternoon, YouTube. Uh, shooting a rare afternoon video, but I uh, hope everyone's doing great out there. Welcome to another episode of Life of Brian. I actually just picked up my 2019 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio. Uh, quite the mouthful there. I think a lot of people just call it the QV, but I actually just picked this up um, from the garage and um, wanted to do a quick video on my history with this particular vehicle and the uh and the alpha brand in general but you know this car it's beautiful the, the there's definitely no knock on the looks of the uh the alfa romeo qv or quite frankly even the standard julia's but especially in this um i think it's the comp competition rosso competition tri coat or something like that it just really pops in the sunlight and it's a beautiful beautiful color but um as uh, my uh, the title of the video uh, kind of um, intimated, I've had an interesting relationship with uh, Alfa Romeo and specifically my, my prior Julia, uh, which I'll get into and uh, let you guys know why I got another one. But yeah, just taking a quick second here to admire the car. It, it's really a, it's a beautiful car. Um, carbon fiber hood. And yeah, I'll do a, There'll be another full exterior shot in the video, but let's get started. So I am sitting inside of my 2019 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, and it looks basically exactly the same um, as my 2017. Uh, the back seats, uh, this time they fold down. The 2017 version did not, and the middle seat has a headrest. The 2017 did not. But in terms of the other interior traits and whatnot, the uh, very characteristic um, start engine button on the wheel, which I actually really like. Kind of gives it that racing vibe. Um, it's kind of cool. Um, my, my 2017 didn't have this kind of red... Um, uh, this red leather, or is this leather? Um, it, mine was black, so this one has the red insert into it, which, I, you know, kind of pops, makes it look kind of like my Maserati, but, you know, um, it looks, you know, this one's nice as well. But, um, yeah, so quick backstory, guys. I had a 2017 uh, Julia Quadrifoglio, and I had a very interesting ownership experience with that car. And um, long story short, uh, Two bad engines and one distracted driver who ran a red light uh, last year. After those three things happened, uh, I didn't have my my quadrifolio anymore, and I was kind of torn when when the car was total basically and uh, went away. Uh, I always kind of thought, you know, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe the car is cursed. I don't know if you guys believe in cursed cars, but I think my 2017 quadrifolio was in fact cursed cursed again two bad engines two engine replacements um you know i hit a curb in that car did something i would never do in any of my other cars um and then again got t-boned at an intersection but i had a uh 2001 celica gts love that car it was my childhood dream car um and i think that car was cursed as well it was flooded it got hit four or five times never my fault it got broken into so i, I do believe guys just on, on a quick tan tangent there are such things as cursed cars but anywho um if it if, if that is a thing my 2017 quadrifolio was cursed so why did i get another one so i got this 2019 because after the car went away um not by my choice was hauled away i always kind of thought you know what i definitely want to get that car back at some point um i love the way these cars sound um, I've mentioned it in my Maserati video, but the exhaust note on these quadrifolios, especially in race mode or dynamic mode, is is really, really, really nice. Um, and to, the 2017 models, it was more difficult to kind of get the the kind of the throaty, the the really deep burbles or farts or the great exhaust sounds that um, this V6 has. And again, this is basically a Ferrari V8 from their California. Uh, California T, I think it's called, with two of the cylinders chopped off. So it's, it's a Ferrari engine, 505 horsepower, massive uh, power output for this car, for this size car. Um, and the V, and it's a V6, and the sound it makes is incredible. Um, if not 
equal to my Maserati, just barely underneath. It's it's really something that's addictive. It's 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 enjoyable to hear. The cold start on these cars are amazing, guys. If you've never heard of Maserati uh, Julia Quadrifoglio cold start, YouTube it, do it yourself. It's incredible. But um, so yeah, after the car got towed away, I always thought to myself that I definitely want to have that car back at some point. Um, I I like the fact that it's a sedan. I can put three of my kids back there. Uh, regular size kids, even adults, quite frankly, still have my passenger seat, have a good usable trunk. And it's a car that I can use as a daily driver, even to run errands, to do whatever I need to do. And not that I track the car or anything Sorry, like that, I'm but, still um, not sure about that. but it's something that I can use on an everyday basis, has great utility, great practicality. And it looks the way this car looks, sounds the way it sounds. And again, you have 505 horsepower if you want to get somewhere fast. But, you know, when I got the car, I knew I, I have a big family. Um, I wanted a sedan. I needed a sedan. Uh, the Maserati again is not a sedan. It sits four, but I needed that fifth seat and that extra set of doors. And this was some. I didn't want to, you know, I didn't want a Camry. I didn't want a BMW. I didn't want something um, that I've either had before or was kind of boring. So I did a lot of research, Google, watched a lot of YouTube videos. Uh, Jeremy Clarkson, I think from Top Gun, re reviewed the car and then went and bought one, which is something he'd never done before. And this car has gotten great reviews, great feedback. The one knock on these cars and Alphas uh, in general is the reliability, which again, knock on wood, I experienced a complete total slap in the face in regards to mine. Again, maybe an exception, guys, but come on, two bad engines. And uh, But anywho, um, that's always been the knock on these cars is the reliability, you know, a ticking time bomb, went crazy. But yeah, it's reliability has always been the biggest knock on this car. It wasn't the looks, it wasn't the engine, it wasn't anything else, just the reliability. And unfortunately, my 2017 did not um, put that concern to, to bed in any sort of way. So I definitely was gun shy about getting another one. But again, this 2019, uh, saw it on Auto Trader. It was the exact color I wanted, which was the Rosso Tri Competition, blah, blah, blah. It's a kind of a darker, more maroon red than the Rosso red. I think this is the that's the color to get in this car. It had the correct rims, which is, you know, the, the four-leaf clover look. Um, and it was obviously the Quadrifoglio. I didn't want to get the base Julia. So, it got, you know, it, the, the numbers were good on it. So I went ahead and jumped. But I've always wanted this car back after I lost it. And it, you know, it took, you know, four or five months, six months. But um, uh, love the car. It's just, it's it's a visceral experience. It's, a, it's an enthusiast car. But again, it's a sedan version. So the utility there, the practicality is there. But, um, you know, I'm very happy to get the car back. I'm happy to uh, use it again to have something where I need that extra set of doors. I can put the kids in the back. I can run errands. I don't have to always hop in the SUV or, you know, grab the Maserati, which is great, too. But, the, the you know, the lack of the extra set of doors is kind of uh, and the fifth person is also kind of a disadvantage. So this car I'm definitely planning on using a lot. Probably will turn it into my daily driver, which is what is it kind of was that before but I had so many check engine lights pop on on my 2017 that I never could do it that way. But um, yeah, I'll shoot uh, a lot more videos with this car, guys. Give you some five things, five things I aggressively tolerate, five things I violently oppose. But I uh, definitely will use this, have this uh, car on the, the channel a lot more. Hope you guys enjoy it. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to more adventures in the car. But hope you guys like the content. Please like and subscribe. Support, uh, support the channel. Appreciate all the comments and the feedback so far, guys. Really appreciate it. If there's anything else I can shoot for you guys that's more informative, more entertaining, please let me know. I'd love to do that for you. Uh, like and subscribe. Support the channel. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye-bye. So I lied, guys. I did not uh, close out the video yet. Just doing a quick drive, actually, to um, run an errand. But yeah, the, the sounds that this car makes, not on par with the SVR and even the um, the Maserati, which of course is a V8. This is a, a V6, a Ferrari derived V6. But um, yeah, it, the, the sounds that this makes is, is pretty enjoyable as well. Um, when you drive it, even you know on normal roads or whatever for everyday driving, it kind of gives you that feeling of um, like there's more you know there's more to be used. There's uh, more performance there, which you're probably in ninety percent of your driving never gonna use. I don't even have the car in race mode right now. I have it in dynamic mode. And I think in race mode, 
uh, the exhaust is even angrier. But yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick uh, impression and taste for you guys who have not been able to experience um, the Quadrifolio yet. The, it's a very, 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 very fun car to drive. Um, I had a, a E92 M3 for a couple years and um, that was a manual. This is not unfortunately a manual, but um, that car just, I didn't enjoy it at all for a number of reasons, which I uh, referenced in one of my earlier videos. But in terms of a, uh, a sports sedan, a performance sedan, whatever, um, something that you can have fun in and also take the kids to, to practice or run errands in, I think this is, you know, the M3 obviously is a, is a direct competitor. Um, Lexus, I think, um, I don't know if it's the RCF. I could completely make it over the ISF. Uh, I think they also have one in the in the um, in the category as well. But you know, this is just it's such a fun car, and I'm glad to have it back. Hopefully, the engine does not blow up on me, guys. But I'll keep you posted. Again, this is really the real closing to the video. Take care, like and subscribe, support the channel. See you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye bye.